Today is December 11, 2018, and today for our short story, it is on Sam Cooke and the 1964 Civil Rights Act. With more information, here is <laughs> Kylie, our reporter. Some artists made music, Sam Cooke made history. Sam was born January 22, 1930 in Clarksdale, Mississippi, then later moved to Chicago. His career started at the age of six with a sibling group called Singing Children. At the age of 15, he became a lead singer of a gospel group. Four years later, he was handpicked by Roy Crane, manager of the Soul Striders. He was one of the first people to combine gospel music with pop music, but he was known as Dale Cook when he first started releasing this music because he didn't want to upset his gospel group. Most of the songs he sang would heal people. In 1959, he married his high school sweetheart, Barbara Campbell. In addition to being a talented singer and songwriter, Cook had business smarts. He established his own publishing company for his music in 1959 and navigated an impressive contract with the RCA in 1960. In Little Rock, he was told he'd be performing two shows for two audiences, one white, one black. He refused to play to a split room down the middle. He was one of the first performers to do this. When the KKK heard a black man would be performing with a white man, they tried to stop it, but Cook played anyway. December 11, 1964, Sam Cook was shot and killed in his hotel where he was staying at. A year after his death, they released his song, A Change Is Gonna Come, which was one of his most pointedly political songs. Then in 1986, Sam Cook was one of the first 10 inductees of the new Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In 2003, Sam Cook slash legend dvd won a grammy for best long form music video in june 2013 the song was awarded the songwriters hall of fame towering song award presented to the creator of an individual that has influenced the culture in a unique way over many years in other news june 11th 1963 U.S. President John F. Kennedy proposed a civil rights bill during his radio and television report to the American people on civil rights. This was intended to end discrimination based on race, color, region, or national origin. Lyndon B. Johnson, who signed the bill into law on July 2, 1964, following one of the longest debates in the Senate history. This marked the first time in history that Senate voted to end a debate on civil rights bills. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 remains one of the most significant legislative achievements in American history. The stated purpose of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 is to enforce the constitutional right to vote, to authorize the U.S. Attorney General to institute lawsuits to protect the constitutional rights in public faculties and public education, to extend the Commission on Civil Rights, to prevent discrimination in federally assist programs, to establish a commission on equal employment opportunity. Like I said before, some artists made music, but Sam Cooke made history. That's all we have today for our short story on Sam Cooke and the 1964 Civil Rights Act.